hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. So if you like this kind of content, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel where I upload thrifting, decor, and DIY videos. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. <music> Okay, you'll have to excuse my clothing. I am working on many, many projects today. I am painting things, so these are my painty clothes and hands. Um, but I really wanted to get this video filmed so that I can put the items away. Because um, I just, I need to reclaim my house with all these projects going on and it doesn't help to have thrift hauls sitting around. Everything I'm going to show you cost me about $16. And, um, I got the cashier that is willing to charge 39 cents for ceramics, so that was great. So one of my items that could have been heavier wasn't. That was really good. I'll start with some items I'm going to be using in a val. I'm putting together a Valentine tablescape. It's supposed to be a romantic dinner for two. And so I picked these up. I found three of them. And they're like cranberry glass, and it's, it's like etched or not etched but I don't know it has this like paint on it I don't know it's really pretty there's the stem and um it's trimmed in like silver I thought those were gorgeous so those are going to go on my valentine tablescape and what else oh and in that same bin, I actually found a few things. It looked like someone maybe was doing some hand painting of objects and their whole collection got donated. So I found this and it has like a, you know, it's like cranberry glass and they've painted in white. It almost has like a Wedgwood look to it. I mean, obviously it's not Wedgwood, but I think that's what they were going for. It's a little girl maybe holding a flower. So that was that one and it is, it has a little chip, but that's fine. I'm just going to use it in my Valentine displays. I thought it would be pretty. And then I found this, this is a, um, was it Lefton? No, Fenton. Just kidding. It's a Fenton duck. It's probably from the eighties, maybe the seventies and it's an opalescent duck. And then they've gone ahead and hand painted it. And that was apparently pretty common. So it's not worth a ton. I am actually going to list this in my shop. Um, it's a little bit heavy, so I'll try to uh, put it in one of those prepaid priority mail boxes, I think, because it's small enough. If I can get it wrapped and feel comfortable that it'll make it there safely, um, that's what I'll do with that. This one is from 1976. It was from someone's like shop, I guess, antique booth or something. And says the joy of Christmas 1976 and here's all the candle and then has a cute little graphic here so this is from my birth year I am going to list this and if it doesn't sell I'll just keep it and um it's from my birth year so that's kind of cool this doorknob and it's two-sided which is cool I always pick these up I like to sit them on shelves they catch the light in the same way that like glass flower frogs catch the light. It just makes a nice part of a display. So I thought that was cute and pretty. Okay, something burned on the stove. So I have the ceiling fan going. So if you hear a whirring, that's what you're hearing. My apologies. Let's move on. Okay, I found this little bunny. Which I thought was really cute and I will use that for my Easter decor. And I found this, it was 39 cents. I have another one like it. I told you I'm doing a little Valentine village and I'm just mixing like ceramic and cardboard and vintage and not um, little houses to make a little va Valentine village on um, a tray on one of my shelves. It'll be super cute. And um, actually it's possible by the time you see this haul, I will have already shown that in my house tour. My halls are a little backed up. So I can't do anything about that. I think that's what's going to happen, but that's fine. And I think you're not going to see this haul until next week. 
and my house tour is going live on Tuesday. That's okay. All right. I found this little girl and I am going to, she's nothing, she's not marked or anything, but I got her with the intention of maybe um, putting a little heart over that in a, in a non-permanent way. I thought I'd make her into a little Valentine angel to go in my Valentine decor. She has a sweet little face. So I'm gonna do something with her for my Valentine decor. And when I say my Valentine decor, it really is like two shelves and then another display in another area. I don't do a ton, but I just like to have little, some little cutie things around. Okay, I got this to sell on eBay. It is a set of four Starbucks mugs. These have sold for me on eBay. This set is from 2011. I mean, I'm not gonna make a ton of money on it, but you know, for a collector, it's kind of cool. This is their anniversary set. So it has the red cup from 1971, 1992, 2011. Oh, it has the regular cups from those years and then the red cup from 2011. Okay, Ugh, I don't know where to put things. I got this, again, for my winter decor. I have introduced pink, and so I will use this in my winter decor, probably on a tiered tray. Got this for my hubby, because he collects, he really likes Transformers. He collects Transformer comic books, and he has some of the figures. Sorry if you hear singing, it's my son singing in the shower. All of my children are very into singing and choir, and so there's a lot of singing in our household. Um, anyway, oh, there we go, look, I did it. Yay for me, I can never do Transformers. This is like a newer one, so it's easy, it's made to be easy for people like me. <laughs> but I got that for him, he'll probably set it on his desk or in his comic book room. Okay, then this is the thing I found, they only charged me 39 cents. Again, it's like a differing policy, it depends on who you get. But the person I got that day charged me 39 cents and I was super excited. And I really, oh shoot! Oh, I just threw it and it didn't break. That is remarkable. It did not break, friends. Okay, well, what I wanted to say was I really like it because it's Sheffield Strawberries and Cream Stoneware Collection and it says it's oven to table and dishwasher and microwave safe. So I can use this for like actual cooking. So I think that's gonna be super cool in my kitchen. I'm bringing out my strawberries for the summer decor. So it will be like the three months of, you know, like July, June, July, August. I'll probably have my strawberry stuff out. Sometimes I introduce some um, sunflowers at the end of August, and then I do fall in September, but that will be fun to be using in the summertime. I can see like a big thing of like baked beans for, you know, a barbecue. Okay, then I found a fantastic stack of golden books. And so I might sell some of these. I haven't looked into them at all. I don't know which ones I want to keep. I don't think I want to keep them all though. That's, it's a lot of books. So We Help Daddy is the first one. And this is Walt Disney Productions. It's in very good shape. It does have some child writing in it and it says, this is the third printing, 1971. And then Walt Disney's Paul Revere. This will be cool in my um, 4th of July decor. This is from 1957, so I'm gonna keep this one because I have a use for that. Okay, Davy Crockett, that's kind of fun. Hmm, I might keep this one too. I like these Americana stories. This is 1955. All right, the Tawny Scrawny Lion. I remember this one from being a kid. This one is copyright 1952, but renewed in 1980. So this is a later printing. Um, the Shy Little Kitten, I think I remember this one too. This looks like a newer printing. This is originally from 1946, but renewed, copyright renewed in 1973. So sometime after 1973, that was printed. I remember this one, the Saggy Baggy Elephant. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Especially my daughter Molly loves elephants, so I have a, 
a soft place in my heart for elephant things. And this one says, originally in 1947, this was printed after 1974 when the copyright was renewed. And oh my gosh, isn't she cute? That looks like my Hannah did. I'm gonna keep this one too. This one will go in the craft room. I like the colors on it. This is a pretense printing 1981. So I'm gonna keep the, for sure I'm gonna keep these three and then I might list some of the other ones in my Etsy shop. Okay, and then I found this, Lucinda the Little Donkey and MCMLII 1952. It is taped. Looks like maybe it was in a library or something, but because of that, it's in good shape. So I'll probably list that one too. Not for anything expensive, but you know, some people like vintage ki uh, kids books. And then this one is 1969. Try again, Sally. So sometime after 1969. And this one was printed sometime after. Oh, this says the Soren, the Soronins Christmas, 1985. Oh, cute. That was a gift to a child in 1985. And I'll probably keep that one because it's elephants. Okay, next up. Oh, and then these were really cool. These I'm definitely going to keep just because they're so old and so cool. These are from, I think, the 30s. They're totally falling apart. So I'm probably going to get some binding tape some look into how to like reattach that because I mean it's not worth anything it's falling apart but I want it I want to preserve it but it's really cool and the printing on it is 1935 four little puppies it's really cute they're so cute I feel like these are pictures we take today right you know, everything changes but stays the same. Okay, and then this is New World Health Readers, A Child's Book of the Teeth. This is fantastic. Oh boy, and it's definitely falling apart. Here's the Teeth Brigade. And let's see if we can see the year. Oh dear, on this one is 1918. Good gravy, Davy. So I'm gonna need to look into how to restore old book bindings just so that they don't fall apart any more than they already are. I can't believe I found those and I'm so happy to rescue them from the demise of the landfill. Okay, I found this. So funny. I just think it's cool. I'm going to put it near my desk in the craft room because it's my initial. And this is a funny story. So. I try not to look in other people's carts of the bins because I don't want to feel bad about what I missed out on. I happened to glance though, because this woman had this really cool old wooden fruit crate, which you know I love, and it's big, so it caught my eye. Well, then in her cart, I saw these. <laughs> this, it's, you know, a tin recipe box, which I adore. I want all of these. Like, I want all the thermoses. I want all the recipe tins. <laughs> I think they're so cool. Um, so I saw that and I was like, no man. And I said to Chris, I was like, cause it was one day he was with me. I was like, oh, I missed out on that. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, then like people gather things into their carts and then like they get rid of stuff. I do the same thing. Like I'll put stuff in my cart, hold on to it. And then at the end I decide what I want to keep or not. Well, I saw her going through her cart. So I was like, oh, I wonder if she's going to keep it or not. I was like, oh, of course she's going to keep it. If she took the wood crate, she's probably into this kind of vintage stuff. Well, for whatever reason, she changed her mind about it and put it back into the bins. So I quickly went and scooped it up. But the funniest part is that there was another one. And I'm sure somewhere there was another one because this one has recipes. There was probably more than another one. Like this is CO to J. This is M to P. Or maybe it was like names. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows that many people? Maybe it was a business or a church or something was using this to like, you know, store people's names on index cards or something but anyway so there I found two of them for parts of the alphabet I bet there were others but I didn't see them uh so I think these are so cool and I'm probably going to sell one off although I haven't fully committed to that I don't know maybe maybe not maybe maybe not I'm not sure um and then inside I picked up all of these 
little um, salt and pepper shakers. There's nothing special about them. I'm just going to use them for Christmas crafting for next year. I told you about like putting a little bit of fake snow and a bottle brush, a miniature bottle brush tree in there and they look adorable in displays. So that's what those will be for. I got these two so pretty. I love these colors. The yellow and the pink is so different. It goes with my chair here, doesn't it? Maybe I'll have to find something to do with them in this room. So, And then um, I got this. It was 39 cents and it's just a little, um, I guess this was supposed to make noise or something. I don't know. I'm not even sure that it works, but I got it because it's a cardinal and from far away it looks cute. So I'm probably going to hang this out on my deck for the winter. I just think it's cute. Okay, and some more Christmas stuff. I found this little faux bottle brush tree thing. I found a whole set of these. These are from Target. I'm going to use this one on my hot cocoa tray, my tiered tray that I put the hot cocoa bar on. So that will be that for next year. And then I got another one of that, plus a little like chalet, chalet a ski chalet and a little elf workshop so was there another one no i guess that's it just the four of them so these will be really cute on a shelf next year for a little christmas display all right and then i found three carved santas clearly someone's collection had gotten donated so this one is marked July 1994, Bob Bredson. And I just thought he was different. I'm gonna put these in my Santa collection. And then these are Loretta Rudy Finden. She's the artist on both of these. And this one was originally marked $35 and this one was marked $15. You know, I would never have paid that for either of them, but I probably paid, I don't know, probably about $1.69 is about a pound. And then this one's a little lighter, maybe like 50 cents for that one. This one's heavier. So I don't know what kind of wood they are, but this one seems less dense than this one. But I thought they were really cute and those will make neat additions to my Santa collection. And then... I found one other thing. I had to dig for all of these pieces. This I can't believe I found all the pieces, but basically I found someone's multiple stacking Santas. Now, none of them is in great shape and they're not vintage. Um, they're all marked like one is from Midwest. And so I don't think they're, I don't believe them to be old, but I think they are cool. And like this one doesn't go together super great, but all the pieces are here. I was so excited that I actually found all of them. So I'm not going to open every single one, but you can rest assured. It goes all the way down to the little one. And then same with this one. This one oh, it's harder to get apart. And this one has like paint damage, but I think they're still cool. And I will take them apart and put them on a shelf for a display next Christmas. But then there's others. There are more. I got this one is really cool and different. It looks like ball, like there are all these little Christmas balls, but they, you know, they nest. So, uh, wow, this is challenging. There we go. So there's that one, that one, and then this one. And then this guy and a little red Rudolph nose in the center, which I thought was kind of funny. So, so I thought that was neat and different. So I'm going to hold on to these because they're really not in good enough shape to sell, but I think they're cool. And I think there's another one, but I can't seem to find him. Oh, here he is. This might be the one. Oh, no, this doesn't say Midwest. This one's very cool. So he's holding a heart, oops, and then he's holding a star, or he has a star on him. I guess he's holding that, like a little wand. And then he's holding a tree. Let's 
And then he is holding, I think, a candle. Aren't they cute? I really like this one. Very, very cute. And again, I don't know the age on these, so it would be hard to list them on Etsy. So probably just hold on to them. And the last thing I got, it was all wrapped up in this plastic. It's very cool and delicate, but it's marked MLG 12 of 1993, Lonesome Lake, Bemidji, Minnesota. So that's up north. It's so cool. So it's a Santa like standing puzzle, but look, he has like a little fox and he's got the loon, that's our state bird, and like a raccoon and a bunny and a deer and a duck, I guess. Isn't it so cool? Like so carefully done. So I can't believe this survived the bins. I really can't, but that was very cool and you know, appropriate for Minnesota. And I will probably hold on to this. I haven't decided yet. I might list it. I don't know. Maybe next Christmas. I don't know. I'm not sure. I am not sure what I will do. And that is all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this stuff from this Goodwill Outlet bins haul. I think I finally caught up. I'm gonna go keep on painting my projects and um, I will see you in my next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.